In the Flathead, a hotshot crew left today to fight those Canadian wildfires right now burning. Marin Sue tells us that crew is just like family and they're up for the challenging task. Flathead hotshot crews will roll out in these trucks to go help fight the Canadian wildfires. Yeah. Can you hear me? Steve is on it right Guys, now. Guys, he's unresponsive. It's training like this with Steve Houts and his crew members that prepare them for the Canadian wildfires. CNN reports over 700,000 acres in Canada burn. Houts tells me how these wildfires differ from Montana's. We've heard it's very hot and dry up there right now. Um, because we're further north, there's only about four hours of uh, dark at night, so the Longer daylight hours can increase fire activity. But this is something Houts has been living for his entire life. I was about 10 years old. My uh, dad took me up um, in the North Fork when there were fires there in 2001. And I saw this crew working on that fire. And it was something that has always been in the back of my mind. Her first year with this crew, Hannah Perno tells me how Flathead's hotshot crews will work with Canada's fire response. In tandem with an engine, you know, like an engine supplying water and a hotshot crew making fire line. Veteran hotshot superintendent Sean Borgen says in preparation, each member packs enough food and water for 24 hours. Years of putting his life in danger with his crew, he says this team is like a family. The sense of camaraderie and family that is uh, forged in uh, a hotshot crew is that above any other unit in our industry. Uh, we spend every waking minute together, engaged, protecting each other, watching out for each other's safety. Heading to another country, Ryan Cole thanks the Flathead community for their support. It feels good traveling around and knowing that we have the support of the, the local community. Borgen tells me that his crews can be out on the fire line anywhere from 14 to 18 days. In Hungry Horse, Marin Sue, MTN News.